Uh, we have a slightly different format today. Uh, nothing too crazy. We're going pure um, circuit. So we're not actually gonna do our heart rate boost in between some of our exercises. We're gonna do a set of, for the upper body at four exercises, for the lower body at five, and we're gonna cycle through them. Um, and the exercises we're gonna be doing today are gonna get our heart rate up on their own. And so don't fear, the first time we go through the exercises, it might be, some of them are familiar, some of them might not feel so familiar, but you'll get at least two, if not three more chances to go through them. So we'll work through it together. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate the upper body exercises and then we'll dive into it. So to start, always starting with smaller muscles before big muscles, the first of our upper body exercises is just forearm wrist lift. A little lift like that. We're going to do a minute. Then we're going to come down and do tricep dip knee up. So I'm on the floor. I dip down, lift, down, lift. We've got a minute of those. Then we have a minute of cross body knee push up. So I come down, I go cross, cross, push up, cross, cross, push up, getting a little core going there. And then last up is a forearm plank punch. So I come down and I extend, alternating arm forward, keeping my body stable. So those are our four moves. We're going to go through them three times. In total, that's like 12 minutes of work for on a, in the entirety of our upper body, but we're gonna take brief 20 second rests in between. So super simple, uh, we'll work through it together. I'll be yelling at you the whole time, giving little instructions and things to think about. So if your cycle's not going, get it going. Keep your water close by, maybe next to you on the floor. You're gonna want it for that quick 20 seconds, maybe take a quick sip of water and set ourselves up for the next exercise. So first minute, we just have little wrist lift, getting into the forearms up and up. So our time starting now. And because we're doing a minute, as usual, we're doing time and not rest, and we're doing a little bit longer time than normal, I want you to pick a pace that you can sustain for the full minute. But keep in mind, we're only doing one cycle of each exercise at a time. So you can go a little bit faster because we know after this, we're gonna move on to our next exercise. Half done, up and up, getting into those forms. This is our first exercise. Happy Monday, hope everyone had a nice weekend. Good to see you all here. Good, keep pulling the elbows in, last 15 seconds. Then we're gonna come right down to set ourselves up for tricep dips with me up. So that 20 second rest is used as transition period. Up, up, last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's hit the floor. Wrist under shoulders. In 20 seconds, we're going to get going. I root my feet into the floor. We're going to press up in six, five, four, three, and two. Get your butt off the floor. I bend my elbows. I lift a knee. Bend, up, bend, up. Keep going. If you're needing more of a challenge here, awesome. Let's do it. Straight leg. Bend, lift, Bend, lift. Keep in mind, you have a full minute to work through this. So pick something that you can actually sustain. Awesome, good. And the goal here, this is a pretty safe exercise. So you can add that element of speed where it feels safe to get your heart rate up here. And that's the point. For our lower body, we're gonna have a lot of jumps. So enjoy the slightly easier pace of the upper body. Awesome, half done. Nice. Triceps are gonna start to burn out. That's exactly what we want, building some strength. Good. I know. I see faces. People are like, no, you've got it. Last 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. Get those butts up a little bit higher. Knees into the chest as much as you can. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 20 seconds rest. You can roll the shoulders out. You can take a tricep stretch. We're going to ultimately make our way down onto hands and knees and then black back into plank position. Okay, so last 10 seconds, and then we're gonna come back into plank in five, four, three, two. Come into plank, tap, knee to opposite elbow, tap, tap, push up, 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 push up. That's my move, my cycle's going, my body's going. This is the third of four moves 
And after we do our next one, we get a full minute rest. Up, up, push up. If you need to drop your knees on those push ups, totally fine, always okay. Good, keep going. Yes, starting out strong. Amazing. Good, nice job, Instagram. Keep going. Cross body knee push up. I love it. Half done. Pace is totally up to you guys. These look good. So good. Nice. I see people's arms starting to get a little tired. You're like, oh, I don't want to do it. But you're doing great. We have one more exercise after this. Last 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Give me two more. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Take your break, 20 seconds, roll the shoulders out. You can roll the wrists around. We're ultimately gonna make our way down for our forearm plank punch. So maybe coming all the way down into the stomach and we're gonna make our way up. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Coming up, one minute forearm plank punch. Reach and reach. If you need to drop the knees, that's okay. Your shoulders, your core, are still doing the work. Out and out. And after this, we get a whole minute of rest. So push through it, do what you can. We know these moves, we've done them before. And everyone's form looks fantastic. Nice, George. Go, Jim. I can see we're tired. What, we're doing this already on Monday? Yes, we're going out with a bang. Half done. We know we can do it. The pace can be slow. It's okay. Movement is movement. Mm -hmm. 15 seconds left. Give me what you got. I know. I know. Go, Justin. Go. It looks so good. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and everybody come up to sit or stand. Grab your water. Big sip, what the heck just happened? I don't know, but we did it and we did great. Okay, so now we get a full minute rest. You can take stretches, you can take cross body. You can take behind the body, you can just breathe, hang out. Got about 30 more seconds here. So let's just take some time. Grab some water. And then start to make your way either up to stand or onto your knees, depending which form you prefer. Check your cycle, make sure it's going. One minute, wrist curls, elbows in, on your mark. Get set, here we go, up, up, up. So we're starting with a little bit of an easier movement, but we can always make it harder based on the intensity where in which we squeeze our fist and how fast we move our hands up. Up, up, there we go. Awesome. And if anyone has feedback, whether they like circuit form or they like regular form where we do back to back of the same exercises, feel free to let me know. I always love feedback, half done. Get those wrists up, up, up. My forearms are not moving. My wrists are doing the work to exercise the muscles of my forearms. Any rock climbers out there, these are great. 20 more seconds. And squeeze those elbows into the midline of the body. Yes. Last 10. Then we're going to make our way down after a brief pause for tricep ditch in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Woo. Woo. All right. 20 seconds rest. We're ultimately going to meet on the floor. For me, these ones are the hardest of all the exercises we do because the triceps are itty bitty muscles and they're trying to support our entire body. All right, make your way up. One minute. Here we go. Dip, knee. Dip, knee. Option to do them with straight legs if you should prefer. Up. Dip, up. That's the work. At no point am I letting my butt hit the floor. Now, I'm moving really fast. If you want to move slower, go for it. Also, if you want to take a smaller bend in your elbows, that's fine too. Your muscles are working to support keeping the body off the floor the whole time. And that's good enough. Yeah. Good. 
We're doing it. Last 15 seconds. Woo. Then we're going to come down for those cross body knee to push up. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Optional tricep stretch. All right. Make your way down onto hands and knees. Start to make your way back into plank position. We're going in three, two, one. I go knee, knee, push up. Knee, knee, push up. It can be slow or it can be way faster depending on what your body needs today, what level of exercise feels good for you. Or maybe not what feels good, but what you know you're capable of doing because we always want to push ourselves a little bit harder, especially when we're doing body weight training because we're controlling our own bodies. We're not adding anything too crazy weight-wise. So how well can we work with what we've got? Beautiful. Ken and Charles, I can't see you, but keep doing what you're doing. Nice. Go, Lily, go. So good. Last 20 seconds. Yes. Good. I like it. Oh, perfect. I see some knees dropping for the push-ups, and that's great because we're still working through them. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, everyone. Roll the shoulders out. All right, last exercise of this circuit. Then we're going to go through it one more time. We come down onto our bellies. We're gonna tuck our toes, come up for that forearm plank punch in four, three, two, and one. Pick it up, reach, punch, punch, punch. If you need to go slow or do it on your knees, that's cool, as long as you're moving. And this can be a very slow motion move. That's fine. Like I said, pace does not matter. Ultimately, we wanna to work towards getting our heart rate up as we get more familiar with the moves. But that's the longer term goal. The shorter term goal is do the move right and build strength. Awesome. Yes. I see a fair amount of knees drop. That means our arms are getting tired. And that is exactly what we're wanting. Last 20 seconds. I know. We get a whole minute rest. And then we're going to do only four more minutes of work. And then we're retiring the band for the question of the day. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, go down, five, four, three, two, and one. One minute rest. Whew. <laughs> I just see people looking at the screen like, oh gosh. <laughs> but it's only four more minutes. It's only four more minutes worth. Give them a shrug, do what you gotta do. Our first minute is still just cold. So we know that one's a little bit easier. Easing our way back into the work. We still have 30 seconds of rest. Grab your water. Maybe think about which of those exercises is hardest for you. And maybe think about why. Where we have the potential to build more strength. All right. Wrist curls. This time we're going to add a little variation. Instead of curling up, we're going to flip the palms and curl in. So same thing, strengthening the forearms, just giving it a little variety. We're going in four. Three, two, and one. How to get my cycle going, curling up, up, up. And like we've talked about in previous workouts, you can imagine that you're holding weights, either really heavy ones if you want to go slow, or really light ones if you want to go fast. In, and in. Mm -hmm. Making sure that no part of the arm is moving besides the hands. All right, that's it. Half done. Last circuit of the day for the upper body. Good. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Keep squeezing. Go through it. We have 15 more seconds. 15, not 50. I'd be a bit much. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, shake them out. Quick cap refill check. Hold the base of your palm up, especially important when we're grooving through things really quickly. Press the base of your palm. Make sure it turns from white back to normal within that three second reasonable range. If not, loosen your bands up a little bit, especially because we're doing some fast work. All right, that's enough of that. Make your way down. Tricep dip with me up. Hands are in the floor. We're gonna lift up in four, three, two, here we go. I go down, up, down, up. My elbows are pointing straight back behind me the whole time. And I'm lifting alternate knees into my chest. Down, up, down, and up. My triceps are working. My shoulders are working. My glutes are working to keep my butt off the floor. That's it. My bands are hopefully working. If not, we should probably pause and readjust. Half done. I'm right here with you guys. Down and up. A little tries are burning. Last 20 seconds. Woo. Arms starting to feel like lead. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo. All right. Start to flip around. Make your way onto hands and knees for cross body knee push-ups. So stacking the wrists under the shoulders, good form is the most important thing here. Let's make our way back to plank. Ready, set, here we go. Knee, knee, push-up, knee, knee, push-up. Making sure that my hips stay in line with my shoulders the whole time I'm doing this, don't let them sag and drop. I don't know about you guys, but it is pretty humid in Santa Monica today. So if you notice you're getting a little sweaty already, good. That's what we want. Nice, Quentin. More than half done. Amazing, Diane. Chris Killer. <laughs> yes, yes, keep going. <laughs> Last 20 seconds. Good. I know, it's hard. We have 10, nine, give me two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down into your belly. Let your arms take the rest. You can let your shoulders sag and just hang out here for a moment. Last move of the day, forearm plank punch. And I'm serious, I really do wanna know if people like this format or the other format better. Is this class is for you, okay? So let me know. Make your way up into forearm plank. We're going in three, two, one, punch it out. And ideally, as you're doing this, you're looking down at the floor, so the back of your neck stays long. Punch and punch. And it's just too much. You can hang out in forearm plank and just saw forwards and backwards. I'm okay with that too, because I know this is our last set. So either forearm plank punch, you can drop your knees, you can saw and forearm plank. The point is we're working the muscles of the shoulders, the triceps. The muscles are still doing the work no matter what format we're in. All right. Yes. Some people are still punching. I love it. We'll have 20 seconds. Whew. Then we're going to take these bands off. Well earned band release. Good. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, go Sophia and Sydney. Five, four, three, two, and one. Get those bands out of there. Good job. The question of the day is well, there's going to be a different question, but I'm actually changing it. Uh, what is your favorite exercise? So like exercise being like a forearm plank, a squat, a lunge, which one do you like the most? And what is your least favorite exercise? The one where I'm like, let's do this. And you're like, no, why? I hate that. Give me your preferences. I'm curious to hear. I'll tell you mine. My favorites, and I can't pick 
just one, so I'm going to pick two. My favorites are squats and planks. My least favorites are probably jump lunges and I don't know what else. I don't know. What have we got as we swap our bands out, getting our leg bands on? No one? No preferences? So we can just do burpees the entire workout tomorrow? Okay, that's fine. That's what we'll do. <laughs> All right, I see some comments in the chat. Quentin says, favorite bicep curls. Jim says, favorite squat, not X push up. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Everyone's got those one things when they're like, they're like, I don't want to do that. I hate that so much, which is usually the thing we need to do the most because we don't like it because we're not strong enough to do it as well as we'd like to. I'm guilty of that. Justin, favorite low squat with heel raises, least favorite. We attempt to do one legged squat and get as low as possible. Oh, that's miserable. That's, that's completely fair. Um, Gabe says favorite tricep extension. Least favorite jump squat or lunge. We don't love jumping. Clinton says least favorite anything in forearm plank and jump squats and lunges. We don't love forearm plank. Okay. Uh, Instagram, we're on Zoom right now discussing our favorite and our least favorite exercises. Feel free to give me a shot in the chat as well. Steve, Dave, Katsu are writing articles on laptop. <laughs> not balancing stuff okay well i have some good news and some bad news for our leg exercises today we are doing a fair amount of jumping the bad news we're jumping the good news is we're doing five exercises and we're going to cycle through them two times so five times two that's 10 minutes of work that's less work than we did on our upper body so I think that we can handle that. Also, the jumping is so, so good for our hearts. And light jumping is actually really good for increasing bone density. So if jumping is not your jam because you're worried about your joints, you can always modify or jump really lightly because it's good for us. All right, Diane says, favorite knee and leg kick. Hardest is the lift body with tricep extensions. That's hard, yeah. Okay, we ready? Leg bands on, good to go? If anyone else wants to toss their favorites and least favorites, I'm happy to hear them. Doesn't mean we're not going to do them, but I'm always curious to know what you think. All right, come on up to stand. So we have our circuit. While I demonstrate the exercises of our circuit, let's go ahead and grab the outer edges of our leg bands and hike the outer edges up. So we get a slight angle going here. We don't want them to be exactly parallel. And our lower body exercises are, we're working calf work, because we always want to start smaller muscles to bigger muscles, into our circuit. So it's heel lift ball slam. So I grab my imaginary ball. We've done this one quite a few times. I drop it between my legs. I come all the way up, down, up, down. No real modification for that one, but I want you to make sure that you don't do this. I want you to drive your hips back, chest stays up, lift, down. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, I know, jumping punch lunge. So it's either this, or if you really aren't going to jump with me today, fine, reverse, reverse, step, step. Okay, so we're either jumping or we're stepping up to you. No judgment on my part. Next up. Toe touch mountain climber jumps. Jim, I'm sorry, this is one of those like X toe touch ones. We're gonna try it. So I come into plank, I touch, touch, jump, jump. Touch, touch, jump, jump. You can always touch your thighs instead of your toes and step, step. And if you need to, you can drop your knees. After that, we have jump, squat, pulse, floor, touch. Just work with me here. Pulse, 
pulse, touch, touch, pulse, pulse, touch, touch. You got it. Alteration, variation, pulse, pulse, step, touch, step, touch, pulse, pulse, step, touch, step, touch. Last up, we have toe touch thrust. So well, we already did toe touch. So we're gonna go just a thrust jump. We go thrust back, thrust back. So alternative step back, step. You got the idea, okay? So those are our five moves and I'll demonstrate through as we go through them together. It's gonna be hard, but we only have two sets. So heel lift, ball slam. We're gonna start out together. Get your imaginary ball. Drop that ball between your legs. One minute on your marks. Get set. Here we go. Up, slam it. Up, down. This is the move. Get off your heels. Now you pick your pace. This is mine. Maybe you wanna go fast. Maybe you wanna go slower. But keep working through it the whole minute. Down, up, down. If balance is not your jam, keep going. This is exactly why we need to do it. Up and down. Slam it and back. Amazing. Half down. Heart rate is naturally getting elevated just from doing this. Yes. Good. And down. Woo. There we go. I'm here with you. My heart's beating. It's not easy for me. Yeah, good, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep going, four, three, two, and one. Jumping or step lunge punches. Whoo, 10 more seconds. Step to the top of your workspace. One minute, ready, set, let's go. That's the move. Yes. Alternative, back, back, punch it out. You pick, let me see how we're doing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're doing it. Yes, woo, looks good. If you want more of a challenge, get your back knee closer to the floor. This is one of the hardest workouts we're gonna do this week in terms of cardiovascular. So your heart rate is gonna be pumping. You're gonna be out of breath. It's gonna feel super uncomfortable and you're gonna do it because I know you can. Yes, there we go, last 15 seconds, come on. Don't stop now, keep moving. Even if you're just stepping through it, step and punch. Punch, punch, that's it, 10, nine, eight, seven, killer game, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Kick it out, 20 seconds rest. You guys, yes. We're all gonna be ready to climb a mountain after this. Our hearts are gonna be in such good shape. Next up, make your way down. Toe touch mountain climbers. So I come back into plank. I tap, tap, jump, jump. Tap, tap, jump, jump. One minute, ready, set, here we go. You can also tap your thighs. Tap, tap, jump, jump. That's it. And tapping the toes or the thighs needs a little more balance. So suddenly our core is working as well as our legs and our arms. Half done. Go Cindy and Sophia, go, go, go. Awesome, Lily. Nice. 20 more seconds, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. After this, we're gonna come up. Yes, last 10, nine, come on, eight, seven, six, give me two more, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop up to stand, you have 20 seconds. You can grab water if you need it. You can kick it out, you can move around. Jump, squat, pulse, 
floor touch. So I'm gonna start the time now and I'll take the first two with us. We pulse, pulse, jump down, jump down. Pulse, pulse, jump down, jump down. That's the stuff, we're rolling. And I threw in a little pulse in there just so we don't lose our mind. Yeah, there we go. Pulse, pulse, hop, hop. Get your butt down, keep your chest up. Nice. You can always step it if you don't feel like jumping. But even if you don't like jumping, I encourage trying jumping for at least one of the jumping exercises. Awesome, half done. Woo, woo. Chest up, butt down. Oh, legs get tired. After this, we have our thrust jump, and then we take a whole minute of rest, and then we only have to do it one more time. <laughs> yes, last 10, nine, give me two more rounds, eight, seven, fast, six, five, come on, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, come on down. Thrust. Jump, thrust, jump, thrust, jump. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate, and then I'm gonna say go when our time is actually starting. So you don't have to go yet. I come into plank, I jump into squat, back, up, back, as fast as you can, or step it up, hands off the floor, step it back, ready, set, go. Yes, Instagram, got it. Zoom, got it. As you come up, your heels stay glued to the floor. You drop your butt down, hands come up, drop them down. Come up, drop them down. Yes. Five minutes of work, we can do it. <laughs> Half done. Oh, look at you guys flying. Nice, George. Yes, Code Jim. Quentin's got it. Diane's got it. Yes, I'm seeing everyone get their hands off the floor. It's beautiful. Last 10 seconds. Amazing, Bonnie. Eight, seven, six, go down. Five, four, three, two, and everybody up to stand. Shake it out. Move it out. One minute. We're going to go through it one more time. <sighs> no one likes jumping. No one loves jumping exercises. Maybe some people like jumping exercises. Those are very special people. I hate jumping exercises. I force myself to do them because it makes us so much stronger and it is so good for our heart. So just know, I'm right here with you. I don't love it, but we gotta do it. At least we'll do it together. All right, check it out, grab your water. You have another 30 seconds and then we're gonna come up for those heel lift ball slams. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Time to get moving. Make your way to your workspace. Grab your imaginary ball. Drop your butt, get really low. On your mark, drop it lower, get set. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. Make sure your heels come off the floor. That's the whole point of the exercise, working into the calf. Up and down, building nice, really long leg muscles. Every muscle in our legs is working through these. So we're building all over strength and balance. Yes, up and down, good, and down. That's it, keep going. You got the move. Now, I'm seeing a little bit of this, uh-uh, down, up, down, none of that. Keep your chest up, straight spine, good correction, perfect. Yes, 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 12, 11, 10, throw that ball up there, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, slam that imaginary ball down. Walk it out, kick it out. 20 seconds, we're coming in. Two, jumping, lunge, punch. Step to the middle of your workspace. 
feet are hip distance apart. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Punch it out. See if you can do it, staying really low the whole time. So then we're not just doing this, we're getting into a proper lunge. Punch, punch, that's it. Woo! What muscles are we working? We're working our glutes, working our hamstrings. Yes, making sure we get a nice generous bend into that back knee as we come down, whether you're jumping or you are stepping. Amazing. I don't care if you jump. If you can do it, if you don't wanna, just do something. Yes, Cindy and Sophia look so good, girls. Nice, Louie, yes, everyone's got it. All right, 20 more seconds, we can do it. This is our last round of the day. Keep going, keep going. Yes, we have 10. Nine, get those back knees down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Good game. Two and one. Kick it out. Toe touch, mountain climber jump. Take a breath. All right. Check those cycles. We don't want to get so excited about our exercise that we forget the most important part of our workout. Make your way down on the hands and knees. Start to make your way back into plank position. We're going in three, two, one. I touch, touch, jump, jump. Touch, touch, jump, jump. That's it. And maybe those toe touches are a little bit slower because you're pausing to use your core to really get your toes up and the jumps are the speedy part. That's fine. Play with it, make it your own. Good, now notice if your hips are starting to pike up into a little V-shape, drop them down, keep them flat, in line with the shoulder. Yes. After this, we are more than halfway through our leg work. We only have two more minutes after this. 20 more seconds. Go, go, go. Go, Chris. Yes, awesome. Chris has got a cute dog running by. <laughs> keep going, come on, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come on up, stand. Because we're doing so well, we're going to take a little bit longer rest. We're doing 40 seconds instead of 20. Grab water if you want to. I want to make sure that we stay really hydrated. And if you need to adjust your bands or anything, sometimes when I get a little loose, do that now. Make sure we're in good form. Got two more exercises to go. Just food for thought. Our next exercise is that pulse jump squat. So we're not going to start yet, but just a reminder, it's pulse, pulse, jump, jump. Pulse, pulse, jump, jump. And the same rule applies with ball slams. We're not touching. We're touching, if you will. Okay? Ten more seconds. Ooh, all right, step the legs nice and wide. Get really low, ready, set, go. Pull, pull, jump, touch, jump, touch. Pull, pull, jump, touch, jump, touch. That's it. Ooh, Diane, yes! <laughs> yeah! Oh, we're jumping, we're flying, we're doing it. After this, we come down for thrust jumps. So at least the arms are gonna help us do some of the work. Keep going, Instagram. Yes, pull, pull, jump, jump. I'll dive on it, half jump. Pull, pull. 20 more seconds. There we go, good. All right, let's bring it home. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, the thighs are sore, they're sore. Okay, 
Make your way down onto hands and knees. After this, we're gonna take our minute of rest. We have three core exercises. We're gonna do two times, 30 seconds each. So it's a grand total of three minutes of work. And then we're done for the day. So make your way up into plank. Thrust jumps, ready, set, go. Get up, back, up, back. Option to add speed here if you can, because this is our last lower body exercise of the day. Coming in hot on a Monday. I didn't get any feedback on whether we like circuit or back-to-back -back exercises better. So we're just gonna keep mixing it up. Nice, nice, nice. Who's coming all the way up to stand? I see you. Keep working, you can do it. <laughs> there you go. Good. Getting those feet all the way up outside the hand. Last 20 seconds. Jump up and back. Nice, Gabe. Go, George, go. All right. For 10, we're going to go all in. We're going to give it all we've got. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7. You guys are so good. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Everyone, come on up to stand. One minute rest. Grab water. Take it out. While you take your rest, watch me. I'm going to demonstrate our three core exercises. The first one is a roll up. I come all the way down as slowly as I can, tap my arms to the floor, and roll all the way back up. We're getting a hamstring stretch as we do this, and you've deserved it. You're also working every single part of your core. That's the first 30 seconds. The second 30, bicycles. We know these. And the last 30, I pull everything in, I extend it out. I pull it in, I extend it out. And I'll walk you through the moves as we do them. Everybody make your way down to sit. If you've not already had water, do grab some now. All right. First 30 seconds, we've got the roll up. Let's reach forward, get a big hamstring stretch. We're gonna start rolling in three, two, one, bring yourself all the way down. Now for these ones, I recommend going as slowly as you can, reaching all the way back, tap the floor, rolling all the way up using every part of your core to get up and over, that's it. If you want more of a challenge, do it with your feet rooted into the floor and don't let your toes lift the whole time you're rolling through that range of motion. Good. Last 10 seconds, allowing everything to slow down a bit. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way down to your back. Knees and tabletop, extending alternating knees, tapping elbow, 30 seconds, bicycles. Now I wanna see that contact between your elbow and your knee as you work through it. If you wanna go faster, that's fine, but find that touch. So we're working our core. We're not just flinging our limbs around. Good. See if you can keep your head off the floor the whole time. See if you can keep one, maybe both of your shoulders off the floor the whole time. Half done. Nice. Last 10. Then we're going to draw everything in from the ins and outs in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull everything in. Tuck the chin to the chest. Keep your head off the floor the whole time. We go out, in, out, in. My time is rolling. Don't let your lower back lift off the floor. If it's lifting off the floor, extend your legs left at an angle towards the floor. In, out, in. I'm not so worried about pace as I am about you keeping your back down because that means your core is doing the work instead of letting your spine arch. That's it, good, half done. Nice game, good. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven. Go Justin, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, rest, rock side to side. We're doing it one more time after this. 
and then we get to stretch. Good, let the back of the head relax. Mm -hmm. Just rock the knees side to side, I like it. And then pull the knees in even more, rock and roll up and down along the spine, bring yourself up to sit. Your choice or your roll up, either feet stay rooted into the floor. And as I do this, I'm not going like this, my toes stay down or slightly easier, straight legs. 30 seconds, we're rolling back and up, let's go. I come all the way down, tap the floor with my arms and roll all the way up. Mm -hmm. Nice, that's it. Good, we are half done. Then we're gonna make our way down into our backs and bicycles. We have eight, seven, six, five, one more, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head, lift the head, neck and shoulders off the floor, legs and tabletop, 30 seconds, side to side. Tap and tap. You need to move fast, go for it. Don't let me stop you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Oh, everyone looks so good. I know we're tired, but we're doing great. After this, we have one more exercise and then we are done for the day. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull everything in. Relax your head for a moment. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. Here we go. We go out, in, out, and in. The lower you drop the legs to your floor, the harder it's going to be. And as you reach back with the arms, I want them extending all the way back in line with your ears. So really activate every muscle of your body along with the core. Oh, goodness. Justin, those are amazing. Sneaking in some Pilates in here. <laughs> Tap done. You know we get to stretch after this. Come on, come on, come on. Core is the most important part of your body. It's where all your movement comes from. Quentin, amazing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We did it. Pull your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Release the right leg on the floor, grab the back of the left leg, kick it up towards straight and re-bend. Get the back of the hamstring, a stretch, open it up. And as you kick that leg up, really kick it up, fully drive your heel towards the ceiling. Feel that pull across the back of the leg, opening up the hamstring. Four, three, two, and one. Good, switch legs. Grab the back of the right leg, work it up and down. Especially after doing those jump lunges, we wanna release our hamstrings. Mine gets super tight after doing these workouts. So I do all this stuff on my own before I make you do it, believe it or not. Last five, four, three, two, and one, both knees into the chest, rock side to side. Rock and roll up and down along the side and come up to sit. Last stretch here, take the sole of your right foot into your left leg. Both hands over, lock them down and fold. Let the shoulders drop, let the forehead drop towards your thigh. Shake your head, yes, we did it. Roll up to sit, switch sides, fold the left foot into the right leg, both arms up, take them over and fold. Shake your head no, no more jumping. And then breathe a little deeper. Breathe a little deeper still, let your forehead fall. And then roll yourself up. 
Take the soles of the feet together. Give your knees a flutter. Arms reach straight up overhead. Bring your palms together. Give yourself a round of applause. Yes. Happy Monday. We did it. Good job. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good job, you guys. Great job, Gator. Go Gator. Thank you. Bye. Way to go, Laurel. Kick Way to go, bite. John. Nice. I'm sweating. <laughs> Super I know. Sweaty. I, 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 I was cheating today. Working in the background, sorry. No judgment. Hold but on. it Before sounded and looked awesome. <laughs> Dustin said, I like circuits. They are much harder though. That's helpful. They are a lot harder because we move a lot faster. Normally when we do our exercises, we like pause, we contemplate <laughs> things, then we jump back into them. This one, it's like, there's kind of no excuses and I don't get distracted. So we jump right through it. Um, I think what we'll continue doing, unless I hear otherwise from you guys, is we'll just kind of sprinkle in circuits just to keep the variety. Um, but we won't always do them because Sometimes you just got to focus on other stuff. So thank you for the feedback.